How's everybody doing? I'm back here again for our video and in this video I'm going to be showing off something that I just picked up today from Best Buy. I was originally going to wait until my birthday Blu-ray update to show this off because that's going to be the biggest update that I've ever done on my channel. But I thought, you know, since these have just been released, they've just been put out in stores, I thought I would do a video showing it off, showing this particular release off and giving you guys my thoughts on this release. Uh, but today, I'm going to be showing off the new Scream Factory Limited Edition Blu-ray release for The Fog. Um, now, this is a classic uh, John Carpenter film. I've never owned it before on Blu-ray, and when I saw that these steelbooks were coming out, I thought that I really wanted to pick this one up. Um, I also want to give my own thoughts on the steelbooks themselves. I know that there's a lot of people that have been kind of complaining a bit about them. Um, mostly because there are, just, there are three movies that have already been released by Scream Factory. And for people who don't want to rebuy these films or double dip, um, you know, they've been saying, you know, what's the point of rebuying them uh, in Steelbook form. But personally, I like that they've re released uh, these in Steelbook. Um, now, I've never owned The Fog on Blu ray, so I'm not double dipping. Uh, but I do understand why some people would not want to. Uh, rebuy these, you know, um, because they've already because they already own them. Um, but m you know, my thoughts are, if you don't want to buy them, then just don't buy them. Uh, I do understand though that's kind of difficult for people who want to collect every Scream Factory release. Um, you know, they want to go ahead and uh, and pick these up because they're they're all limited editions. They're only going to be available for a certain amount of time. Um, so I do understand why people are sort of against these being released. Um, but I thought I would do with this video just to show off the actual packaging of the Steelbook. Because I do really like the packaging for the regular Collector's Edition Blu-ray. But I think I like this uh, packaging of the Steelbook more than the regular uh, release. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and show it off. I'm going to open it up and show you guys what the Steelbook has to offer. I'm not going to talk about the actual Blu-ray disc because I haven't watched the film yet, so I don't know anything about the transfer or anything like that. I'm just showing off the actual packaging. So let's go ahead and uh. So first, here's the uh, the front right here, and I absolutely love this image on the front. You know, you got this great image right there. You got the lighthouse with uh. You know, Anthony Barboa right up there, um, who's absolutely beautiful. Adrian Barboa is absolutely beautiful in this film. You got the moon up here, and then you got this sort of ghostly um, kind of a pirate ship coming out right there. I, I just love that image of that. And then you have, uh, of course, three of the, uh, you know, three of them walking up right here, coming up towards her. Um, I personally really like this, uh, really like the art that they chose. I'm not a big fan of... Um, I believe it was uh, the Escape from New York artwork. I thought it was okay, but I think that they could have picked something better. But I do really like this artwork. And I also like the artwork for uh, They Live. Um, they Live is another one that I don't own on Blu-ray. So I might pick up the Steelbook if it's still around uh, sometime next month. But I really, really like this artwork. I like the simplicity of it. You know, you got the silhouette of her right up there. And you got the, go uh, the sort of ship coming in. And then them all coming up to her. Turn it on the, on the spine, and you, know, you right here you just have the Blu-ray logo, and it says the fog, and then, you know, of course, the uh, MGM and, sh and Screen Factory logo right there. And on the back, this is just a continuation of the front cover, which I really like as well. Again, you have more of them, you know, walking up. you got the house right there and the, uh, and the road. I think they did really great work on this, art on this artwork. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and open it up, if I can with one hand, steelbooks are kind of difficult. There we go. And then the only thing that's on the inside is this uh, cool little um, quote from Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, is all that we see or seem but a dream within a dream? Pretty cool. And then here's the uh, Blu-ray with uh, some of the, well not really original artwork, but this is artwork that you know, uh, I've seen on the DVD releases and on the uh, on the Blu-ray releases of the film as well. And this is the classic image right here. Them all coming up. I would have liked it if maybe they would have, um, on the inside, they would have put maybe the original artwork right here. I think that would have been very, very cool. You know, the image of uh, Jamie Lee Curtis trying to hold the door uh, closed and then come in. You know, I, so I think that 
As far as inside artwork, I do like the simplicity. Like I said, I like this quote from Edgar Allan Poe, but I feel like that they could have done something a little bit better with the inside art. Um, but as far as uh, the outside art, I absolutely really, really like that. And then here's just the back that has all the information. Um, all the special features, which are all the same from the original Screen Factory release. And then the background artwork, uh, or, the, or the image uh, behind the credits, is the same image that's on the back of the actual Steelbook. Um, and here's the back. And I did uh, save this little uh, sticker right here. It says, limited edition Steelbook packaging, only 10,000 manufactured, uh, collected while it lasts. So these are all limited uh, of 10,000 copies. Um... So yeah, guys, that was just my, my thoughts on the Fog Steelbook. Now, like I said, personally, I really do enjoy the artwork for it. I think that they did a great job of the artwork. Um, and once again, I do understand why some people are, are having a bit of a problem with these because they don't want to, you know, uh, double dip on these releases or on, on these films. Um, so I know why some people, you know, are not a fan that Screen Factory is re-releasing films that they've already released before on Steelbook. But at the same time, just think about how many other films have been re-released on Steelbook. You know, it's like, whenever, you know, new Steelbooks come out, there's always that one movie that's been released multiple times on Blu-ray, um, and they're being re-released on Steelbook, and people are still, people still pick them up. And, and I know a lot of other people really love these Steelbooks. I personally think that they're really nice. The only one that I'm not a huge fan of is the Escape from New York artwork. I think they could have done something better. But at the same time... Um, I like the simplicity of all three of these steelbooks. I really enjoy the artwork uh, for each of them in their own way. Um, I, I really like the They Live one, and I think that that'll probably be the one that I pick up next. But anyway, guys, let me know down below what you think. Um, are you a fan of these steelbooks? Do you think it's cool that Screen Factory is re-releasing uh, these films once again on Blu-ray? Or are you one of those people that uh, just thinks that you know it's kind of pointless to double dip on these, and you're kind of wondering why... Screen Factory would re-release them, re-release the same films that they've already released on Blu-ray, just in steelbook form. So, anyway guys, uh, that was just a quick video. Like I said, let me know down below what you think about uh, these new limited edition Blu-ray steelbooks uh, from Screen Factory. Like I said, I, I think they're pretty cool, um, and I do plan on hopefully picking up one more. Like I said, I want to pick up The Thing. I mean, uh, not the thing. They live. It would be pretty sweet if they released uh, the thing on Steelbook, but who knows. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I know I haven't been on for a while, but I've just been working and I've had other things going on. Um, so I hope everyone is doing well, uh, and I hope you guys are having a great day. Take care.